hey guys, what's going on? Pete here. Before I get this video on the way, I just want to just remind anyone who's watching who's not subscribed to, please, at least consider it, because we're close. We're almost at 5k subs. That's a lot. That is a lot of people. As you guys can see right in front of us, we have a bit of snow on the windshield. I'm not going to lie, it's pretty wet snow. Probably not the most ideal for filming today, but we're still gonna get a video out, guys. So before we go deep into talking, I actually have to quickly grab the mail because I don't know if you guys saw during my cold start, but I am currently on a not very legitimate plate. It's uh, something I made myself because, believe it or not, uh, my other ones have been uh, missing. I, uh, I lost one of my plates a long time ago because when I was rear-ended, it affected the uh, mounting hardware on the uh, the rear so basically I can't hold any plates essentially on one side and when one comes loose then obviously the plate hangs and I don't see that ever because I'm driving and it's a rear plate so like it just comes off and I don't see go uh, and I never ordered a replacement single plate I just assumed you know like oh maybe at some point I'll have to order it well I waited too long and I ended up losing the other plate so I lost both plates and I had to create a fake template because I'm too lazy to go to the DMV and actually pay for a plate However, I did order two plates and they're sending me a temp plate and soon my normal plates I'm getting a new number, which is apparently I guess maybe a good thing But unfortunately the GTI plates have been completely uh, lost and I will never get the 404 6439 plate It sucks, but it's okay because uh, Maybe the new number will be better you guys would probably agree with me as well. The R just sounds so good on cold starts. It starts with the valves open and then a couple seconds in it will close the valve. However, you can override that by just opening the valve again. Um, but now we're in eco mode. It's kind of snowy and uh, it's cold. So I'll give the car a little bit of time to warm up and I'll grab my mail. Can't forget my mail. And then we'll, we'll get to the crux of the video. Well, as you guys can see, I, uh, I know I have a smile on my face, but it's not because my plates are in. It's, uh, I don't know why I'm smiling, actually. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Two hours later. So on to this new camera. So I bought the Sony a7C. This is essentially the equivalent to an a7 III. Uh, now it's just the more compact size. Um, there's a couple trade-offs to having a more compact. I wanted a smaller camera because I'm going to be holding this around a lot. I'm going to be vlogging. I'm going to be doing a lot of car stuff. I want a smaller camera so I can easily fit it in bags, etc, etc. Now I will say the downside to being smaller, even though it offers all the same things the a7 III has, is the fact that, you know, the, the grip's a little bit smaller, and I kind of, uh, you know, it's that's not a make or break, but I just, it's kind of a little awkward to hold, I guess you could say, compared to a much larger a7 III, even though the a7 III isn't that much larger. It is, um, it's it's not too bad. And honestly, this is around the same size as my a6400, so not a, not a huge size difference, but I guess one thing I wish they did was just at least extend the hand grip out a little bit more, because it's a little awkward to hold it. However, the reason why I went with this camera over the a7 III, you know, the full size, obviously aside from just the general, um, this one being smaller, um, is the fact that you can flip out the screen and do vlog style, uh, as you guys can, well, you can't really see, but as I can see, um, the screen is flipped out so I can make sure I'm just focusing on the same stuff and, and in this case I am so go me it makes vlogging a whole lot easier and um, it's honestly one of the things that I think a lot of people were not really super in love with with the a7 III is the fact that people were buying that camera because it's a great all-purpose camera but you know there were some things that I wasn't able to do obviously the flip out cam uh, the flip out screen I think it only allowed you to rotate it um, for like movie making and stuff so uh, this is nice because I can I really feel at home with this camera and uh, the fact that it folds out to the side as opposed to my a6400 which folded out upward with a microphone would uh, block it uh, this is just way better so super happy with it um, and then obviously the autofocus is really nice I got a 20 millimeter prime lens and this lens I selected pretty much in with the hopes that it would cover everything that I needed it to do. And what I mean by that is I'm talking vlogging. You guys probably won't believe this, but the camera's actually pretty darn close to my face. 20 millimeters is not immensely wide, but it's wide. It's wide enough so I can actually vlog and I don't need the camera to be like, th this is like, I'm gonna extend my arm out the furthest possible. This is where it's at. Um, so now I can just kind of keep my, my camera like really close. I don't have to worry about extending my arm because believe it or not, uh, these are not heavy cameras, but over time, you're gonna you're gonna feel it. So uh, I will say, 
super glad uh, that I kind of went with a prime lens and obviously go went with a wide prime because I don't really have to worry about zooming and uh, the only things I really have to focus on is really just aperture and yada yada. Uh. Another thing I want to mention why I bought this camera is something called Catalyst Browse. Now Catalyst Browse is a stabilization. It's sort of essentially you just upload your videos to your computer and then dump it into Catalyst Browse and choose the crop ratio and the uh, software will crop your video just enough so you can you know, control the amount of stabilization you want. So I'll give you guys an example. So right now I'm gonna walk around without any stabilization. This camera does offer IBIS. However, the lens does not have optical steady shots. So basically whatever you're seeing is almost raw. IBIS doesn't offer much for these cameras anyway. But as you guys can see, we're kind of just walking around. My arm is like extended out probably halfway. And now what we'll do is we'll do uh, a little comparison with Catalyst Browse. All right, so now we're gonna do a walk with Catalyst Browse. I'm probably gonna do a 90% crop ratio, um, so you guys can sort of see a nice before and after, but because you are obviously rendering a video or uh, dumping it into something else and it has to render it, uh, you're gonna see a little bit of a drop in quality, but when you shoot in 4K, that shouldn't be an issue. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, again, arms extended halfway and it should be a little bit smoother. So, and you can make it as, as smooth as butter. Obviously you have to crop it more and the quality will be reduced, but um, you know, not too bad. Right now what I'll do is I'll give you guys a little B-roll with, of course, it's kind of awkward with a 20 millimeter lens. Hopefully in the future I'll get more, but I will give you guys a quick B-roll of the Golf R uh, with Catalyst Browse software kind of smoothing it out so you guys can kind of see some cool shots of the R. Hopefully this inspired you guys to maybe go out and uh, get a uh, get a vlog camera, guys. Start your own YouTube channel. You don't necessarily have to get this exact one. I'll list everything below in the description that I'm using currently so you guys can kind of get an idea. And of course, just start a channel, guys. I highly recommend it. It's so much fun and uh, you meet a lot of people and it kind of lets you explore your creative side. And um, and for me, that's, you know, that's I think that's important because I'm in college right now and, uh, you know, classes kind of get a little boring. I'm not going to lie and I'm not really able to really express my creative potential. Uh, that's why I have YouTube. And uh, I'm so grateful to have an amazing family on YouTube being all of you guys and we're almost at 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.